Good morning. This is an exciting day. <laughs> I get to talk about a wine that I've been wanting to talk about for a long time. The wine's called Elementary, and I came up with the name because winemaking is all about the elements that go into making wine. And obviously, you know, I'm a part-time chemist, part-time artist, part-time winemaker, part-time engineer, part-time biologist, part-time viticulturalist. And in the vineyard, the main two components, sorry, the main three components are nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. And we all talk about nitrogen because nitrogen is what gives leaves that green color. It, I think people fairly, fairly understand that, but potassium and phosphorus are just as important when it comes to the uptake of other nutrients in the soil. And we really rely on all three of those things. Potassium determines the amount of acid, for instance, that drops out during fermentation. And potassium is also very important when it comes to soil vigor. And then, of course, the elements of wine itself. We basically, we're taking a little berry that's full of, you know, acid, tannin and sugar that we all know about. But it's the vine itself that's full of carbohydrates. And that has the energy that will take the grape through to full maturity, flavor maturity, sugar maturity, and tannin maturity in the case of red grapes. So we have to take care of everything, and this is where the term terroir comes in, and we as humans obviously influence the terroir. The first thing what we do is irrigate, the second thing we do is we add nutrients, etc., into the soil, but what I like to do is go back to the basics, and so the way that we take care of the soil, as you can see, is we leave a permanent cover here, and I've always thought about this, especially coming from New Zealand, where we have so much water, and so we need that organic matter, and we need that ability for water to penetrate. If you use herbicides and naked earth philosophies, a lot of that water just runs straight off, and it's the water that the vines need to absorb those nutrients that are in the soil. So taking care of the soil is really important. Secondly, taking care of the vine itself we need to keep the vine in very good condition. We don't want to have any diseases, especially trunk diseases, which are becoming so prevalent throughout the world. And so taking care of the vine all the way through so that we can represent the soil, represent the place that this vine is coming from, and hopefully make really good wine. So that's where the story of Elementary comes around. And Elementary is, for us, an Oakville Cabernet right out here in the heart of the Napa Valley. So I hope you get a chance to try it. Elementary, Oakville Cabernet from Goldschmidt Vineyards.